eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Six dash one. Vehicles to check down range. Stage one, chamber pressure is normal. If you're just joining us, we are T plus 30 seconds into our mission today, and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at 6.13 p.m. Eastern Time. Power and telemetry is nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. With that call out, we hear that Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound, around 770 miles per hour. Max Q. Max Q is the period of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle that it will experience during flight due to the forces of thrust, gravity, and atmospheric pressure. So we're just about one minute away from several events happening in quick succession. These are going to be main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start one, and fairing separation. Main engine cutoff is when all nine of the Merlin engines on the first stage shut down. Stage separation will be when the first and second stages separate from each other prior to first stage re-entry. And second engine start one is when we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Shortly after that, fairing separation, we'll see both fairing halves separate from each other, then fall away from the second stage and return to Earth for recovery. Incredible views of the Earth behind Falcon 9 on your screen now. Here we go. State separation confirmed. And back ignition. So we just heard confirmation for successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one, which you can see on your screen now. Coming up in just about 20 seconds, the fairing halves will separate from the second stage and fall back to Earth. Bearing separation confirmed. So there you saw and hopefully also heard fairing half separation. As a reminder, both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flight proven as well. Both are flying for the second time and our booster for its third. We will attempt to recover the fairing halves again today using our recovery vessel, Doug.
Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. Stage one has lit one engine to prepare for landing on our drone ship, a short fall of gravitas. This final burn slows down the rocket to help it stick the landing on the drone ship. Stage one landing leg deploy. Great feedback from our team there, and of course, beautiful views confirming that we have successfully landed stage one. And good orbital insertion for those 21 Starlink satellites. With confirmation of the first stage landing and successful second engine cutoff, we're going to wrap up our launch coverage for today. Be sure to check out our social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy and more information on the V2 minis. Expected loss of signal, Bermuda. Thanks for joining us for SpaceX's 212th overall mission and 13th mission of the year. We'll see you again soon.